I had your letter here somewhere. If you could give me the short version, uh, what do you think is in the will that is coming to you? I really have no idea. You know, um, she yeah. made a big speech uh, when it, the death was coming about, uh, you know, there was a life insurance policy and um, uh, the, the farm, which is really um, her family's, uh, you know, can't be sold. And then, you know, all this about my dad's wishes. I'm going to, you know, do my dad's wishes. And I was on good terms with my dad. I, I know he would probably want me to have something substantial because he he loved me and we were on good terms our whole life um and um so you know <clears throat> nobody told me to come to the uh will reading nobody told me i got anything nobody said anything and you know i really don't care i'm, I'm not living my life to get an inheritance but the fact that they you know, don't say anything about it seems kind of weird. Well, it is weird, but that's what I said in my little preamble there. They turn into barbarians. And uh, the rules, are, there are yeah. no rules. So um, I can't help you much except advise you on how to uh, see what's going on. Do you know the lawyer's name? That the... Uh, that the uh, no, I, I, I'm i completely shut out of the whole thing. I, I know there was a will because uh, she said there was, and I know there was an insurance policy because she said there was, and I know he had wishes because she said there was, and I know she uh, spent 25 grand on a headstone uh, <laughs> that prompted my sister to, to say, you uh, know, I think I'm going to get cremated. And, and of course, in the, the, these guys are super repressed religious fanatics. There's a picture of Jesus, my sister's childhood bed. It's been there since she was a child. And when I, I sleep in that bed, when I visit, when I get up, I'm face to face with Jesus, which I, I thought was sort of threatening. And so I started to get out on the other side of the bed, and I see they put a mirror over there so that you can't escape seeing Jesus as soon as you wake up. And uh, you can do a stand-up. So, you can do a stand-up right now. Fuck music, man. Just get, get down there and you introduce the band with your stand-up routine. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so they're they're just really repressed. And that's another one, you know. She wants she um, you know had. Uh, my father saved, who was an atheist. She's a religious fanatic. He's an atheist. Uh, and uh, he, he was saved on a sack of feed at the feed store by the reverend because uh, in her mind, if he's not saved, then when we die, we won't see him in heaven. So she's been asking me if I've been saved and, you know, am I a Christian and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and I just kind of say, yeah, kind of, you know, humor her. Because I don't want to argue about it. Okay. So uh, if you don't, if you don't, it's you, just uh, ever increasing. Okay, we, huh? we, we can't help our parents; they're all nuts. Let me say, make a short version here. Um, if you don't want anything, then just quit answering the phone and quit talking to them. If you want something, you're going to have uh -huh. to. You're going to have to go. Uh, to a lawyer, which I had to do with my fucking brother. It's very unpleasant, but you have to do it uh -huh. if you want it. And we're, my mother died, made me the ex executor of the estate because she knew my brother was a fucking asshole. And he, he, he managed to fuck, uh -huh. he managed to even fuck that up. And I had to get a lawyer to tell him to get the fuck away from me before I killed him. So, uh, oh, that, my. that's all there is. They don't understand anything else. They don't understand being logical or rational or for some reason they think it's a free for all when somebody dies. I don't know what the fuck that is. And Brandon didn't have an explanation. If he didn't know, I sure the fuck am not qualified to answer that question. So uh, let me tell you this other thing. They, you know, leading up to this, it, it's, it's been kind of a push away for a while. And so after he died, um, I, uh, she calls me up and goes, well, uh, 
uh, did you go see your father's tombstone yet? And I'm like, well, I'll, I'll get on up there. And she goes, you know, and I'm, okay, I'll, you know, I'll get up there and coming soon. And so she calls back a few days later and leaves me a message saying, say, uh, you know, it's okay if you come see your father's tombstone, but you can't stay with us. I always stayed with them. Uh, so, uh, and even at the funeral, I had to get a hotel. That's the first yeah, time I was gladly life. got in a fucking hotel. Fuck this shit. But uh, it's, it's uh, well, you know, I'm going to be out of town um, every weekend from now till eternity. And your sister and brother-in-law and I, you know, they're taking me out of town every weekend for eternity. So I can't, you know, I'm really busy and I, I can't, uh, you know, host you. And she is crazy. We had an Ebola case in Dallas a few years ago. She's, I, I, I kept this letter in writing because no one would believe me. But she said, don't send us any Christmas cards or Christmas presents because it might have Ebola and kill your dad. And um, <laughs> you know, don't, uh, don't come down here because you might have Ebola and kill your dad. And I thought, and, and this was one thing I confided in my aunt. I said, I think she has Alzheimer's. I, I think she does. And that may have gotten back to her. I don't know. That's okay. Another, so... The short version is, if you don't want anything, don't do anything. If you want something, you're going to have to do it through a lawyer. So, in other words, you're happy with the way it is. The only other thing is I'd tell you is I would change my phone number. Would well, that's hard to do because I use it for business for 15 years. Oh, uh, oh, I see. Yeah, you got a problem there. Well, I would get another phone number and uh, <clears throat> never give it to her. And yeah. Leave your answer phone on or leave your uh, leave your voicemail on. 